Hi, here's, uh, here's another one. And uh, you can see also that uh, this is a discrete, oh, sorry, lie, lie, lie. This is a uh, continuous just because it's defined over these intervals. And I hope you're getting the idea. I know a lot of people always try to do it without the picture and I see it and no problem, but I think it helps just to draw that region first so you know what you're integrating over. So um, this is the joint density function. It's defined for x's from 0 to 3. Okay. And then um, y's between bigger than x squared but less than 9. So this is the graph of uh, y equals x squared. And we're going to cut it up there at 9. And I want y's that are greater than, okay, y's that are greater than x squared and less than 9. So it must be that region right there is my region of interest. It's like half parabola here. Okay, so to find the expected value of x, I'm going to get the marginal of x. And then I can get the marginal y to find expected value y. And I'm not going to try to be slick. I mean, I could do it all in one formula, but I, I'd rather just find f of x and then find, you know, the expected value of x. And I think it's nice. Uh, these two I have on the homework again, homework set 6. So um, f of x of x is equal to, I'm going to integrate over my y's. And so for any x in here, y goes from x squared to 9, and the function is uh, 1 18th uh, dy, because I'm finding f of x. Okay, so this will be 1 18th y from y equals 9 to y, sorry, wrong way. I'll put that in there, so this will be uh, 1 half minus uh, 1 18th x squared. And this is valid for now. I'm just down to my x's. And x's just go from 0 to 3. So you would want to verify that this is a valid density function and everything turned out right. Um, but there's my final expression. So I'm just going to write, you know, expected value of x then should be um, 1 half minus 1 18th x squared times x, because f of x times x, f of x times x is a formula for expected value of x, dx, and this should go from 0 to 3 over the support of x. And then I would get value. And unfortunately, I don't, I didn't pull up a maple already for this, but you'll get, you'll get a value. It's an expected number in between 0 and 3. So if that doesn't turn out right, then something's wrong. Let's find um, f of y, f of y of y is, uh, I'm going to integrate the joint with respect to x. Um, so let me see, f of y for any, why is this bothering me? Yeah, for any y, my x's range my x's go from 0 to here. So x goes from 0, x goes to here now is the square root of y. Alright, so this is 1 18th x uh, from x equals 0 to square root of y. So this is 1 18th square root of y. And this is valid for y's between 0 and 9 at this point, right? Because those are all my y's are in that region. So here's my joint for y, and then uh, expected value of y is just 1 18th, 1, uh, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. No, I don't know what, okay, so 1 18th square root of y times y from y equals 0 to y equals 9 dy. And again, I'll get an expected value. It should be somewhere between 0 and 9. So 
I don't know what this means, so this is not good. But anyway, so here's another one. This is uh, number three. And um, if you want to see any of the maple setup or check or just, just let me know. But I'll end it here for now and see what's wrong with my computer. Okay. Hi, right, here's, uh, here's another one. And uh, you can see also that uh, this is a discrete. Oh, sorry. Lie, lie, lie. This is a... Uh, continuous just because it's defined over these intervals and I hope you're getting the idea I know a lot of people always try to do it without the picture and I see it and no problem but I think it helps just to draw that region first so you know what you're integrating over so um, this is the joint density function is defined for X's from 0 to 3 okay and then um, Y's between bigger than x squared but less than 9 so this is the graph of uh, y equals x squared and we're going to cut it up there at 9 and I want y's that are greater than okay y's that are greater than x squared and less than 9 so it must be that region right there's my region of interest it's like half parabola here Okay, so to find the expected value of x, I'm going to get the marginal of x, and then I can get the marginal y to find expected value y. And I'm not going to try to be slick. I mean, I could do it all in one formula, but I, I'd rather just find f of x and then find, you know, the expected value of x. And I think it's nice. Uh, these two I have on the homework again. Homework set six. So. Um, f of x of x is equal to, I'm going to integrate over my y's, and so for any x in here, y goes from x squared to 9, and the function is uh, 118 uh, dy, because I'm finding f of x. Okay, so this will be 118 y from y equals 9 to y, sorry, wrong way. I'll put that in there. So this will be uh, 1 half minus uh, 1 18th x squared. And this is valid for now. I'm just down to my x's. And x's just go from 0 to 3. So you would want to verify that this is a valid density function and everything turned out right. Um, but there's my final expression. So I'm just going to write, you know, expected value of x then should be um, 1 half minus 1 18th x squared times x, because f of x times x, f of x times x is a formula for expected value of x dx, and this should go from 0 to 3 over the support of x. And then I would get value. And unfortunately, I don't. I didn't pull up a maple already for this, but you'll get you'll get a value. It's an expected number in between zero and three. So if that doesn't turn out right, then something's wrong. Let's find um, f of y. F of y of y is uh, I'm going to integrate the joint with respect to x. Um, so let me see f of y for any. Why is this bothering me? Yeah, for any y, my x's range, my x's go from 0 to here. So x goes from 0, x goes to here now is the square root of y. Alright, so this is 1 18th x uh, from x equals 0 to square root of y. So this is 1 18th square root of y, and this is valid for y's between 0 and 9 at this point, right, because those are all my y's are in that region. So here's my joint for y, and then uh, expected value of y is just 1 18th, 1, uh, no, 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 cancel. Cancel. No, I don't know what. Okay, so 1 18th square root of y times y from y equals 0 to y equals 9. 
dy, and again I'll get an expected value, it should be somewhere between 0 and 9. So I don't know what this means, so this is not good. But anyway, so here's another one. This is uh, number 3, and um, if you want to see any of the maple setup or check or just, just let me know, but I'll end it here for now and see what's wrong with my computer. Okay. Hi, so here is problem two from the um, from the practice problems. Um, this is another continuous one. I, I guess maybe I haven't been clear when, again, you see things written uh, as intervals here, you know it's continuous. Um, here's a bank. Uh, there's two facilities, a drive up and a walk up window. Um, let x be the proportion of time that the drive up is in use and let me see why proportion of time that the walk up is in use and here's the joint distribution function um, part B is in your homework so here's part A determine the probability neither facility is busy more than a quarter of the time neither is busy more than so busy less than a quarter of the time so here's my um, region of interest. Here's x, it goes to 1 and y goes to 1. And it's simply, in this case, just, just a box because um, x goes from 0 to 1. It's busy what proportion of the time? 0 to 100%, 0 to 100%. So here is my region of interest. Um, what do I want to find? What's the probability that neither facility is busy more than a quarter of the time? So I want to know probability x is, well, the the whichever x and y is busy less than a quarter and x is busy less than a quarter so here's quarters right here and so I really want to integrate um, over this region right here to find that probability so I want to know the probability x is less than a quarter and y is less than a quarter so this is the double integral and um, I'll go over my x's first, so um, x goes from 0 to a quarter, and for any x in this interval, y goes from 0 to a quarter, and I'm integrating 6 fifths x plus y squared, and inner is dy, outer is dx, and so I should get a number, right, this is a probability. Um, and you can see I'm integrating over these uh, these values, so I, I will get a number. And instead of doing this, actually, I put I put this expression right now into Maple, so you could see what it looks like. Um, let me call it Maple. Um, I wish I could execute it. Maybe I can. I just want to push Enter. But uh, here is what uh, first I define. Um, man, I wish I could. Um, execute it. Um, I don't know, maybe I can. Oh, probably the whole thing. Uh, I'll just say this first. This is f, and then I'm just checking right here. As y's go from 0 to 1, x's go, I'm just checking it's a valid probability density function. Here's the actual probability I asked you for, both of them less than a quarter. So it's just a double integral. I must be finding the marginal of x here and showing it's valid. I must be finding the marginal of, no, I'm just finding expected value. Here I'm finding the marginal of y, and I'm finding the expected value. So um, here's actually the number we want, but I think I can go right and push, uh, is it this that execute, could execute the entire worksheet? So there's what, uh, okay, nice. Um, there is the joint. I'm showing it's legal. Um, the proportion of the time they're both busy less than a quarter is this value. Um, this must be the marginal of x. Um, it's legal, expected value. Um, here's the marginal of y, expected value. Okay, so there's my um, there's my answer right here. It's seven over six forty. Okay, so I'll stop this and start the next one if I can find out where I put the stop at. There it is. Hi, 
I so here is problem two from the um, from the practice problems. Um, this is another continuous one. I, I guess maybe I haven't been clear when again you see things written uh, as intervals here. You know it's continuous. Um, here's a bank. Uh, there's two facilities: a drive up and a walk up window. Um, let x be the proportion of time that the drive up is in use and let me see why proportion of time that the walk up is in use and here's the joint distribution function um, part B is in your homework so here's part A determine the probability and neither facility is busy more than a quarter of the time neither is busy more than so busy less than a quarter of the time so here's my um, region of interest. Here's x, it goes to 1 and y goes to 1. And it's simply, in this case, just, just a box because um, x goes from 0 to 1. It's busy what proportion of the time? 0 to 100%, 0 to 100%. So here is my region of interest. Um, what do I want to find? What's the probability that neither facility is busy more than a quarter of the time? So I want to know the probability x is, well, the the whichever x and y is busy less than a quarter and x is busy less than a quarter so here's quarters right here and so I really want to integrate um, over this region right here to find that probability so I want to know the probability x is less than a quarter and y is less than a quarter so this is the double integral and um, I'll go over my x's first, so um, x goes from 0 to a quarter, and for any x in this interval, y goes from 0 to a quarter, and I'm integrating 6 fifths x plus y squared, and inner is dy, outer is dx, and so I should get a number, right, this is a probability. Um, and you can see I'm integrating over these uh, these values, so I, I will get a number. And instead of doing this, actually, I put I put this expression right now into Maple, so you could see what it looks like. Um, let me call it Maple. Um, I wish I could execute it. Maybe I can. I just want to push Enter. But uh, here is what uh, first I define. Um, darn, I wish I could. Um, execute it. Um, I don't know, maybe I can. Oh, probably the whole thing. Uh, I'll just say this first. This is f, and then I'm just checking right here. As y's go from 0 to 1, x's go, I'm just checking it's a valid probability density function. Here's the actual probability I asked you for, both of them less than a quarter. So it's just a double integral. I must be finding the marginal of x here and showing it's valid. I must be finding the marginal of, now I'm just finding expected value. Here I'm finding the marginal of y and I'm finding the expected value. So um, here's actually the number we want, but I think I can go right and push, uh, is it this that execute, could execute the entire worksheet? So there's what, uh, okay, nice. Um, there is the joint. I'm showing it's legal. Um, the proportion of the time they're both busy less than a quarter is this value. Um, this must be the marginal of x. Um, it's legal, expected value. Um, here's the marginal of y, expected value. Okay, so there's my, um, there's my answer right here. It's 7 over 640. Okay, so I'll stop this and start the next one if I can find out where I put the stop at. There it is. Hi, I uh, made up some practice problems to look at from section 8.1 because it is, you probably read over it now and you've seen it's a little bit tougher. So um, these are just a few, some discrete, some continuous examples. I'll try to fit a couple per video. And then I think I also want a video for 8283. 
and you'll see for Monday I just decided to stop for a day so you can practice chapter 8 stuff because it is something you need to go over and think about because it, it, it takes a bit of time so I hit 8182 in the current homework and then in these practice problems and then again um, in quiz 7 which is your last quiz so um, here's the situa situation environmental engineer measures the amount of particulate pollu pollution in air samples of a given volume out of a smokestack okay uh, X denotes the amount of pollutant per sample collected from when a cleaning device is used so let me get this pen um, cleaning device X is the amount of pollutant cleaning device on the stack and Y is the amount when the cleaning device is operating so cleaning device in operation cleaning device not in operation here is the joint density function it's just uh, uniform over this interval and I was always suggesting I think you should draw this region of interest first so you can it, it'll make it a lot easier to do the problem so um, X's are defined between um, 0 and 2 and Y's between 0 and 1 and this is really uh, Y less than um, x over 2 so when x is 2 y is 1 here is the line that would go through there and I want y's that are less than x over 2 so I want this region right here okay so that's my region of interest if I want to find anything um, this is where I'm looking okay so um, part B is on homework set 6 so um, I'll do part A to get you started so at least you can see a little bit using this problem and then um, B is on the homework set if you have any questions so um, let's find the marginal density function for X so that's f of X f of X of X so to find f of X I range over my Y's and for any X in here Y goes from Oh, I didn't want that. Y goes from here to here. So Y's go. Oh, okay. I don't want that anymore, so I must not be in pen. Uh, y goes from 0 to um, x over 2, and my function is 1 dy. Okay. So this is going to be y from x over 2, 0 to x over 2. So this is uh, x over x over 2. For um, now, at this point, x's are between 0 and 2. So 0 less than x less than 2, because I always ask you for the support. So this is f of x. You can make sure that that guy is legal over this support, and it is. So there's your um, marginal for x. You could find expected value now. You could do um, you know, f of x times x over, the, over this interval. But once you get down to x your, x, your your support should just be in terms of x. So notice there's no, no, no y's any longer in the support. So let's do f of y. f of y of y is equal to um, so for any y, x's range from here to here. So x's range from uh, 2y to 1. Right? Or, sorry, that's long. This is 2. Sorry, that's 2. So they range from here to here, which is x equals 2y to x equals 2. Okay? This is the function 1 dx because I'm just integrating my joint so this is x um, integrated from x equal to y to x equal to so this is going to be 2 minus 2y so f of y y that over the support which is um, let me see, x's go from 0 to 2, y's go from 0 to 1, so 0 less than 1, 0, okay, so there's my marginal for y, 
and that should take care of that. And I think I'll just do one problem and then do one for each video.